Hey everyone, my name is Mayan and I am a final year vet student at the University of Cambridge and I am a summer school mentor for Medic Mentor. So why did I choose Cambridge University? Well, I chose Cambridge Vet School because it offers a third year degree where you can study anything that you like in depth and it's nice to graduate with two degrees. I studied zoology, so you get a BA in zoology as well as the vet degree at the end of it, which is pretty handy. Another thing why I chose Cambridge is because it has a collegiate system. So you're part of a college and I'm part of Girton College, the best college, uh, not biased at all. And a college is where you stay and where you socialize with your friends and where you have your supervisions which are small group teaching sessions. Third thing is these supervisions. I like the fact that you're in a small group that you can discuss your lecture content in depth with a lecturer and often these lecturers are experts in their field which is such a privilege to have to be able to pick their brains. Other than that, the Cambridge life is pretty nice. I like a small, um, not small, but I like a town size sort of area to study. I find that bigger cities often a bit too daunting for me so Cambridge was just a nice size where you can just cycle around everywhere you don't really use you can use the bus but you don't really have to you can walk everywhere so you save a bit on transportation costs and you're only an hour away from London if you miss London life or if you are looking for some fun times uh, fun escapes from Cambridge and and I can go on and on about all the reasons why I really love Cambridge um, but let's move on to the next question and then we'll go back to why I like Cambridge so university facilities. The university itself, they have their own library and they also have a university gym. They have two gyms, Kelsey Carriage and the University Sports Centre. The one in Kelsey Carriage has like has swimming pool and has loads of tons of facilities. The one at the Sports Centre has uh, courts and indoor gym facilities. But um, at your college, so you'll be placed in a college and most colleges have their own indoor gym as well. And Girton has an indoor heated swimming pool. It is small but it is so fun to use and it's free for the students so yeah depending on which college you apply to you will have a different kind of gym i guess some colleges are better than others but yeah accreditation so in cambridge you are awarded with the vet mb degree so with this degree it is rcvs accredited so you can work in the uk of course and you can work in new zealand and australia and also some developing countries like india but the cambridge course has not yet been accredited by avma so if you want to work in the us or canada you need to apply for the avma and sit another series of tests. However, Cambridge is in the process of obtaining this accreditation, so watch this space probably in a few years time. So next question, first year accommodation. So first year accommodation at Cambridge, it really depends which college you are in. So I was in Girton College and each college's accommodation system works differently as well and you pay different bands of rent depending on your college. So in Girton College, all their rooms are single rooms, so you don't share rooms with anyone. Some rooms are ensuite, mine wasn't. I was in a really warm and nice toasty corridor with uh, about maybe eight other people and we share about four or five bathrooms I think and we had a kitchen. Our college was quite nice because we all have proper kitchens, not only a microwave but also an oven and hobs. Other colleges are more limited, some don't even have ovens. It really depends which college you're at that whether or not you have cooking facilities but all the colleges will have a catering facility so that you can go into halls where you sit together and socialize with your friends and have meals together. So my first year accommodation was a single room in Girton College. It it was pretty decent sized and I paid one four five pounds a week including Wi-Fi and bills and everything but in clinical years so four fifth and sixth year vets tend to move out and they stay in a house and now I'm staying in a house that costs about 92 pounds a week so it gets cheaper when you move out into a house so yeah pros and cons of the university now that you are there. So let's start with the cons. So I guess the cons is, hmm, I guess the cons is the Cambridge workload can be a bit daunting. Sometimes the workload can be quite stressful and you're in doing supervisions you can be set with essays and as supervisions are like after your lectures you might have quite long hours in a day and it can be quite tiring especially if you want to get involved in so many other things like societies, clubs and societies out there. So everybody in Cambridge is so talented and so amazing that you tend to feel a little bit um, imposter syndrome sometimes. I guess nightlife, if you're into like really big like 
having a good night out. Cambridge nightlife is quite tame. It is a student town, so it's pretty safe and it's pretty... Like, they play cheesy music in the clubs, so... I don't know, I guess it's some people's preference, it might not be some people's preference. In terms of EMS, it might be difficult to find farm placements around the Cambridge area, so you need to travel a bit further for that. So I guess that's a con. So the pros, the pros is that you get a lot of support. You get a lot of support from your college because you have a director of studies assigned to check in with your academic matters. You have your tutor which checks in with your non-academic matters. So like, um, like mental health issues or if you're just feeling really stressed and uh, you can't cope. And then the vet school also has their own welfare uh, team and pastoral team to offer you support. So there's loads, loads, loads of support to help you if you find that you're struggling with the workload. And then another pro is that there's so many societies that you can get involved in and there's just so many things to try. From the tea drinking society to the, um, I don't know, the ultimate frisbee uh, team which I was part of and show choir. Oh, it's just so much fun. There's a lot of things that you can get involved in. And another pro is that, well, it could be a pro or a con. So our terms are eight weeks long. So they jam pack uh, all the content into eight weeks. So these eight weeks are super intense and super, yeah, super intense. But then that means we get five weeks of holidays and and that's a lot of holidays and that's really useful for vet students especially because you need to do EMS during your holidays. So yeah, that's another pro. And of course there are the Cambridge May Balls and garden parties and events to look forward to at the end of exams and all the weird traditions that they have during graduation. In terms of vet school specific pros, I like that we have a university farm that we can do farm animal teaching practicals at. We also have Merton Hall Farm which we have teaching horses as well as an equine hospital and then we have the small animal hospital on site as well next to the vet school so it's quite convenient to travel to and we although we have more of our lectures in town uh, pre-COVID times. It's not that far to cycle to and from the lecture halls in town to the vet school. It's about like 10-15 minute cycle. So yeah. Any university specific events for example. So university specific events I've mentioned the Cambridge May Balls where each college throws like an extravagant May Ball which um, is lots of fun and then they have garden parties and depending on your college my college loves to organize the vet supper parties where you have a gathering with all the vets in the year above and below as well as your lecturers and your supervisors and it's just a nice relaxed setting where you get to know your supervisors and you know your y friends in the year above and below much better. <laughs> it's so much fun. And also there's uh, vet specific events such as the dinner dance that we have every year around March time to celebrate the end of the term. There's also the vet barbecue day. I think we have it in sometime summertime. We also have I think that's it. And also that's grad ball, but that's like the end of the graduation you have grad ball. Mm. In terms of exams and assessments, you will sit for your finals at the end of the year in first and second year. It's either a week or two weeks of exams at the end of the year around May, June time. And then and second year is a pretty intense year where I think I remember we had 14 or 15 papers to sit in like a week and a half or something like that. Super intense but once you're done with second year everything else is much more manageable so. In third year you get to study a degree that is non-vet related. You can do anything from zoology, pharmacology to even engineering or management or genetics which is really cool so you take a break from the vet stuff and you get a degree at the end of your third year which is nice. And some people if they decided that vet is, the vet degree is not for them they leave after their third year and it's fine because they have a degree and they can just go anywhere they want. And then fourth, fifth and sixth year are your clinical years where you get more teachings at the vet school and as well as rotations where you do more clinical stuff. In fourth and fifth year you get termly exams which are MCQ papers on certain topics and as well as an OSCE assessment. But this OSCE assessment where they assess your clinical skills is not like a pass or fail type, it's just an assessment to see how well you are doing and if you are you don't do so well, you have time to prepare and practice those skills before your sixth year OSCEs, which are the ones that count. So at the end of fifth year, you get your finals as well, which are written assessments. And then in your sixth year, which is your final year, you get your part three exams, which are written assessments as well as VIVAs, which are oral examinations in four top the four modules that you take. So, and I have that coming up in two months, so it's scary, but you know, we'll get that. <clears throat> 
And then that's it for assessments, yes. Oh yeah, and your OSCEs in six years, in sixth year. Yep. So to sum up, I think studying in Cambridge University for any degree or especially the vet degree is really good and it's really fun and it's just, it's just great. Yeah.